Next one on one, we know that Stephen Curry has had incredible history in Madison Square Garden, but check this out. Warriors last four game, 14 games. A lot has been happening. One, Draymond Green has come back. That has had a huge impact. And the last five games, Clay Thompson has been coming off of the bench. And the team bench plus minus went up plus 17. The Warriors seemingly clicking right now. And they are in the play-in, but they are a dangerous team that I can't imagine anyone wants to play. And Chuck is laughing. Because I'm so sick of these fools on other networks talking about the Lakers and the Warriors. We don't brag about any other play-in teams, do we? I understand Steph is great and LeBron is great. Ain't nobody worried about the Lakers and the Warriors in the West. You don't but think I, so? I, I would say this, Chuck. Okay, go ahead and say it, Killer. <laughs> if Tom Brady was in a play-in situation, you'd be like, that's Tom Brady. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's yeah. what LeBron three, and Steph are. Yeah, three years ago. Uh, man, nobody's worried about the Lakers okay. and the Warriors. They're playing good right now. But let me tell you something. These teams in the West are not worried about the Lakers and the Warriors. Uh, we, we be kissing these guys' ass so much. We don't brag about the number nine teams in the, West, in the East. They ain't got no chance. The Lakers and the Warriors, they're on a little spell. They're doing well. LeBron was amazing last night. But they're not going to beat those teams up top, but period. two of the best players that ever, ever. ever. The game. I understand. They are. But they're not no threat to those teams in the West. Chuck, so stop I, ju juicing them up. Okay. Chuck, I agree with you and disagree with you at the same time. Not the Lakers, but the w Golden State Warriors. You know, they're, they're, they've always been a classy organization. They're, they're where they are because stuff happened. Draymond suspension, injuries, Clay not going up, but... They still have the blueprint and the know-how to get it done. And, and not on that, Chuck. They don't mind playing in that playing game because everybody's already counting them out. And that's when they play their best when you count them out. I'm not – Lakers try to turn on and turn on. And you talk about this all the time. You can't really turn that switch on. But I will worry about Golden State if I'm, if I'm you know, playing them. Well, listen, I, I do. I get so sick of these guys on other networks just juicing these dudes up all the time. Hey, Steph and LeBron are two of the greatest to ever do it. Nobody in the West is worried about the Lakers and the Warriors. I guarantee you that. Question. Uh, last year, the Lakers were in the play-in, and they came out, and they beat the two-seeded Memphis Grizzlies. So a very similar situation. A young OKC team, a younger Minnesota team. The experience doesn't matter too much? For, for me, I, you know, I, I hear what Chuck is saying, but I, I, I'm, the only thing I disagree is because you now you're playing, when you play in a series, you have guys who have the ability to rest. You have the greatest players in the history of the game. You know, you have a lot of things going for you. You know, they know how to play on the road. They So it's not like we're talking about an up-and-coming star. I wouldn't want to play Golden State. I, I, it's not, just saying. Can, I, can they win a I'm series? Yes, the can they win? yes, they can win a series. But the question is, they got no chance of getting to the Western Conference Finals. Could, okay. could they luck up and win a series? Either one of those teams, I'll yes. Go with that. But okay. they're not a threat to get to the conference finals. That's not going to happen, man. Stop juicing these guys up. Do you see any promise lately with Draymond back, Clay coming off the bench? Do you see a different Warriors team? Well, they, they, they've got they got to figure out what's going to be interesting. The elephant in the room is Clay Thompson. Are they going to resign him or not? Well, we're talking about resigning. What about right now? Right now, they, they could win a game. They could win a series, maybe, but they're not a threat to those top teams in the West, in my opinion. I mean, hey, listen, they're 11-3. They're the number nine seed. We don't brag about no other nine seed. First of all, the, 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 the playing stuff is something we made up. It ain't even a real thing. What do you mean it's not it, a real thing? It's not a real thing. We made it up. No, no. It used to be. No, it no, is. You're right, Kenny. Kenny, of course right, I'm right, Kenny. No, he's not. The, the playing thing ain't a used real thing. We used, to have, we used to have one, one through eight. eight. We used to have one through eight. Right, however. The no, Lakers, no, however. We used to have one through eight. The Lakers and the Golden State would play differently if it was one through eight as well. They would play more games and guys wouldn't rest as much. So well, we what can't do you mean just, rest as much? They know that there's a play in, they, so they, not, they don't have to they're not expend resting the same Who are they resting? They, they've been resting players at times. They have not. But they, after they and have they're still a time. They're, they're only three games out of eight spots. They, they, they are. They're, they're, not, they're, they're, not, they're not far away from being in the eighth spot, either one of those teams or seventh spot. Which, so I'm they're worried only about two the, games out. The reason why I'm worried about the Warriors, if, if Steph keeps playing the way he's playing, Clay's not really playing again. All I need him is for two games, Kenny. I need – Two games out of seven for Clay to be Clay that he was in the past. And I think he can do that. So but that's 17 the points a game. game. Yeah, but off I need the bench. him to go 25, 26. He's been he's when games, 20. Two games on the road. Off the bench, he's averaging 20 a game. Yeah.
<laughs> 19.8, I believe. Yep. Y'all can, hey, man, y'all can like, see all these graphics y'all want to. These teams are not going to get to the conference finals. They can, could they win a series? Yeah, Chuck, yeah, let maybe. me ask you that big picker, big picture question. Minnesota or OKC, who's more vulnerable for an upset? That's a great question, Adam. Thanks, Chuck. That's a great question. Minnesota, because they're going to go small against Golden State. Golden State going to go small. Th that, my only problem with the, the Timberwolves is I think if they play against a small team, they could lose in a shooting contest because Carl Anthony Towns never takes advantage of his size. Because one of the best kept secrets in the NBA this year is, is uh, Porzingis going in the post. Mm. Now, they got mad at me and Shaq a few years ago. They're like, well, we don't play the game like they used to play it. I said, well, if you got a mismatch, you go in the post. The Celtics are putting him in the post, and he is mauling these little munchkins they put down low. Carl Anthony Towns is a good player. The one thing he does that annoys me. He never takes advantage of his size. If you're going to play those two big guys, he's always going to have a little guy on him. I don't think he's going to post up like he, we did back in the 80s and 90s, but when they put a little guy on him, because the center is going to be against Gobert, but if they put a little guy on him, he's got to kill him down low because every time he shoots a three, he bails the defense out. Mm -hmm. They want him shooting threes. He doesn't take advantage of his size. That's the one thing that I love the Celtics are doing with Porzingis. If these teams going to go small, don't let them little dudes play out there. What about OKC? I, I, for me, OKC is all about Shea Gilders Alexander. I, I don't see much great. of a difference between a lot of these teams in the West, honestly. What do you I mean? mean? Regardless of record. Um, I don't really see a, a major difference between uh, – yeah, I think OKC has played the most consistent. But between New Orleans, Sacramento, Golden State, the Lakers, I would – if you put them in a game, Phoenix. Denver Nuggets, yeah. If, no, no, not Denver. Oh, you're putting them away. No, Dem Denver is in a, in, a, in a different class. Is there anybody in Denver's class? Uh, well, only reason you don't – you say it because they have the experience to win it all. Gotcha. So I'm well, saying well, with everybody else – No, not yet. I, I feel the Clippers, not Phoenix – Golden State, Lakers, Sacramento, OKC, if any of them come out, I'm not surprised. They're, to me, they're all if, 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 if the, the same. If the Nuggets, if the are, nuggets don't make it, if the I'm, Nuggets I'm or the Clippers don't win the West, I'll be shocked. I will be shocked. I think the Nuggets are the favorite. Paul George has got to get healthy. No but, sons. Huh? No sons. You don't like Phoenix? I, I, I think I wonder, number one, they, I wonder if they're ever going to be healthy. You know, Bradley Bill... I mean, like, man, the season's almost – we're getting down to nitty-gritty. Yeah, yeah. And you ain't just going to come back – because there's no easy series in the West. None. There's no easy series. So, Bradley Bill has got to come back and get – can it, what do you say, two weeks to three weeks? A month. A month. I, I agree with that. I mean, you just – because, like I say, put the standards up for me right now, please. Coming at you right now. Well, you know, you could have – could have pre yeah, yeah, what are you looking for, Chuck? Well, I want to see, well, like, just hypo the hy hypothetical if the season ever. ended today. Well, they only showed it. Season the ended three. today. No producer. Yeah, I want this. Clippers would play the Suns. Ooh. I'm not taking. Nuggets would play the Pelicans. I'm not taking the Suns over the Clippers. It's a tough matchup. I'm not taking the Suns over the Clippers. And I live in Phoenix, and I love the Suns. But I'm not, I'm not taking them over the Clippers. Hmm. You taking them over the Clippers, Shaq? Well, Shaq is a Clipper hater, so. That's a good point, Adam. Ke yeah. Kenny, Kenny. Clipper Suns. I'm going Suns, because you know why? Toss awesome. up. No, you know why? Clippers are deeper. I know what I know what Booker gonna do. Clippers, you know. It, it, you, what, you don't know what Kawhi gonna do? Yeah, I know what Kawhi gonna do, but what about the other two? They've known two. What, what, uh, the Suns got something to prove after that, too. Because yeah, Paul George, James Harden and Paul George, they going to have to play well. But exactly. I got no problems with Kawhi. That cyborg, he going to bring it. And Norman Powell, probably the best six man in the NBA right now. Hmm. I mean, so I told you, if Denver or the Clippers don't win the West, I'll be shocked. Let's pivot to the New York Knicks, fourth place right now in the Eastern Conference. A little bit of a slide. Three and seven, tons of injuries. That's Randall a, not that's, playing. That's, that's deceptive. OG and Anobi not playing. You're, you're not feeling them right now. Oh, I love them if they could get healthy. That's the question. But Randall, to me, he's thinking about not – he's thinking about having surgery now. If he has surgery now, he's not coming back. If he was going to have surgery, he should have did it two months ago, uh, uh, January the 30th. And OG, I think he's coming back this week, but they're not going anywhere, in my opinion, if they're not healthy. They were, they were, because Adam. They were on an absolute tear. But Adam, the there's nobody scares you in the East other than the Celtics. Right. 
There does seem to be a drop off. The Bucks have been very hot as of late. Yeah, I undefeated mean, since the All Star break. I, I think Cleveland and Milwaukee are really good teams. I, I think that uh, Cleveland is probably the most underrated team in the, in the NBA. Look at that log jam from the yeah, four bro. seed down to the eight seed. This in the just NBA, they eighteen games yeah, over five hundred, and, no, and no, we're talking no about them like they're nothing. No, we, we didn't say they were nothing. Yeah, but with, yeah, but with no Julius Randle. They can't win without – I don't think they can First beat round anybody round. without Randall. First round they round. did go on that, that run without Randall, but OG was healthy, Hartenstein we was healthy. Playoffs, yes. They had all of the pieces. And they just without made the Randall move for Bogdanovich. Well First round exit for the Knicks. Gotcha. All right, well, right now they'd be taking on the Miami Heat, who won be 9 great, out of 11. That would be a great series. Something about Knicks Heat that always feels special. I'm still waiting. I, I will tell you this. I said two things – two teams – well, I had a sleeper. I said the Mavs – and the Pacers. I feel really good about the Mavs. I thought they, other than the Knicks, they had the best deadline, trade deadline. But the Pacers, I would like to see them get healthy and get in rhythm because, man, they could be dangerous. Seven-game series, too, running up and down the floor like that? Ooh, if, they, if they can make shots, and Halliburton has that swag thing going, they, uh, you know, Siakam, Miles Turner, it's going to be interesting. I got to scream it about a seventh seed, but you won't scream about a nine seed. Yeah, because nine, nine's thing. not even a thing. Adam Silver, who I love to death, same made thing. it up. He's no, right, Kenny. He's right. Come on, Kenny. The playing thing Seven, didn't nine. exist. It didn't one, you, one, think the, you think the Indiana Pacers could beat the Los Angeles Lakers easily in a series? No. I do not. I right. don't say that. That's that's that was the so question. Seven, nine, it's all the same. No. That's my point. Like, those teams in the Western Conference, other than the only team that if they don't win it, we'll be surprised is Denver. Everybody else... It's a surprise if they win it. I Even the Clippers. I, I, I don't believe it, the Clippers will yeah. be a surprise. I think they got. I think they have the best they, opportunity. They got everything. But it's a surprise. They no, haven't kidding, done the it. only thing I, I was saying, these guys be juicing the Lakers and okay. the Warriors up. They, could they win a series? I'll admit they probably could win a series. But they're not a threat to be a contender. They are not either one of them. Hmm. Well, Jalen Brunson has made the New York's Knicks a contender 30 points or more in 15 of the last 22 games, showing that he is a special, special player. That is our first game tonight, the Golden State Warriors and the New York Knicks. Chuck, when he hears anything about the Lakers. Rashad Grove, you are I'm correct. They be juicing these guys up around I'm here. I'm a clipper hitter. And Chuck Nobody, Lakers come on. Hitter. Which uh, TV personalities were it? Who was doing it? I can't talk about it. I don't want to give him no shine.